And welcome back, it's 922. We've seen in movies and shows that extracting someone's DNA can be as simple as a pluck of hair or dirt under fingernails. And the process is even easier to determine the DNA of your favorite fruit. Here to show us how is DNA fruit expert Katie oh, Blake yep. over here in the science lab <laughs> with her trusty assistant, Mr. David Sears. Yes, this is going to be fun. Right, right at the top, I did this last night. It took about 10 minutes in total. We don't have that much time today. So, David, I'm going to have you begin to smash up this yes. strawberry in this bag. Go ahead. We don't want any big chunks remaining, so just go ahead, and, and I'm going to... I warn you to put your goggles on if you're going to start smashing <laughs> Be gentle there. Well, you don't have to really be gentle, but... <laughs> so, while David's doing that... What is that? Oh, it's this table. Okay. While David's doing that, I'm going to remind you what you need for this strawberry DNA extraction experiment. You will need some isopropyl alcohol. You'll need water, salt, and dish soap, of course. Some nice, big, juicy strawberries. A plastic baggie. David's working with a sandwich bag right now. You'll also need a strainer, some tweezers, and a few empty glass containers. How many? Three. Three. <laughs> I think we're working with two, but three, three is good as well. Oh my gosh. You went you from massaging to pulverizing. She said smash it up. Yeah, and right. be, it is very efficient. I mean, I kind of meant like gently press and mash up, but oh. that's, oh. You're, you're helping me out with my time. So what David is doing, he's mashing up a strawberry in a plastic bag that has an extraction liquid in it. That's what is made up of water, salt, and dish soap. So that's what he's doing, and you don't want to leave any big chunks. So David, once you feel that you have gotten it pretty well mashed up, that looks pretty good. It looks like good. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Watch the outfit, David. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to pour this liquid through a strainer into one of our empty okay, cups. I think you've done you've done a really good job. Okay, great. <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm kind of nervous too, I'm not going to lie. So, do I pour this in there? Yes. So we want all that good liquid to go in there. There will be some chunks of strawberries left. And to just make sure we get a lot of this down here, we're going to use a spoon to help mash some of the leftover, the leftover juice into this, into this cup. You did a good I've seen that drink before. You did a good job. <laughs> Believe it or not, this is, this is not cocktail time with Katie and David. Science man. Okay, so. Here we go. Class. So we're getting it. Yes, it is. So we've got that. Okay, I think we're looking pretty good. Now, it's time for your isopropyl alcohol. This has been in the freezer for 10, 15 minutes or so. Uh, so you do want it to be a little bit cooled. And let it's me cold. make sure, let me, I just want to uh, reference my notes here. So let me show, okay, so we've got it in the strainer. Now, to this, our strained liquid here, we are going to add a teaspoon of this chilled alcohol. I have one for you here, so we can measure it out. <laughs> Delicate process. <laughs> Brilliant. Maybe a little bit more. When I was doing it yesterday, I, I had to add a little, that's good. Oh. <laughs> David, that's good. No, that's good. I like it. Just add it all in there. So this may take a minute or two, uh, but what this alcohol is going to do is help to to separate our yeah, mixture yeah. here, the juice at the bottom, and what we are looking for is what's going to the top, and that is going to be the DNA of the strawberry. This seems bizarre, right? How does this work? Well, this works with strawberries specifically. <laughs> right. Oh, my mic. Sorry, it's going down my, my little turtley neck. Uh, this works with strawberries because they have more DNA than other types of fruits. They are octoploids, meaning they have eight copies of each DNA chromosome. Really? So that's why. That's kind of cool. Yes, that is very cool. In comparison, most humans have two. So they have more DNA that they're working with here. So what this alcohol will help to do, and this is where our tweezers come in. Oh, look at that. I know, it's so cool. So we're pulling, kind of goofy see these little, it looks like a booger, kind of, <laughs> but it's not. But it's not. <laughs> so, That's DNA. Yeah, so That's you can. strawberry DNA. And it's got some of the, wow. yeah, and it, well, and, and this smells really good. It smells like strawberries, so there's oh, that too. Yeah. So I'm going to pull, I'm just going to use my So finger. these little strands that you're pulling out are the DNA? Yes. DNA? It's a little, the That's DNA. All it is, is the DNA? D, the DNA fibers, yes. Interesting. Ooh la la. And all, it, during that process, they, it all bound together. Yes. Okay. And that was because of the 
Yes, DNA is not soluble in the alcohol, so that's oh. what helps it to. That's what helps us to be able to extract this. Yeah, it kind of looks. It's kind of squishy. You want to squish? Looks like slime. <laughs> and it does. <laughs> well, at least it smells good. So good. yes, and it does smell. It does smell really, <laughs> really alcohol good. And strawberries. Yep. <laughs> Great air freshener. <laughs> so this is a lot of fun. I think the kids will be like, oh my gosh, cool, and they can actually hold DNA fibers in their hands, which is what. You can't do and with smash a lot of stuff. Too. And strawberries are extra special now. We know that they've got a lot of DNA. Yes, they do. <laughs> That's um, pretty cool. And as you said, Katie, um, now that kids can go, Mom, can we make boogers too? <laughs> yes, exactly. And if you do try this at home, you can find all the ingredients and everything you need on the Katie Science Lab section of ksat.com. If you do try it, take some photos, video, you can upload them <laughs> online as well. <laughs> and we would love to show them off. Oops. On GMSA at nine. Hi guys, cool. thank thanks, you. David. Good job. <laughs> yeah, thanks that. for literally breaking it down for mm -hmm. us.